Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. Another fantastic review show on the way from the College Investor Audio Show. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. So this year, OLT.com has improved navigation and interface, but it's kept its prices low. Improvements and low prices? I like that. Despite continuous improvements, the software still proves to be confusing for novices and experts alike. Ugh. <laughs> so even with the low prices, OLT.com does not make our list of software to use in 21. Sorry, guys. But here's what you need to know about filing your return with OLT.com anyway, if that's what you choose to use. Is it really free? So, OLT.com allows all filers to file federal taxes for free. However, the state return does cost $9.95. The software is competitively priced for filers with more complex tax filing situations. What's new in 21? So, of course, they updated the software for 2021. For example, it now allows users to claim the rebate recovery credit if the user didn't receive the appropriate stimulus check in March. It also updated its interface to have better icons to direct users to the right part of the software. The navigation is still horrible. Users need to know a lot about taxes to enter the right information. But the new icons do help out a little bit. Now let's talk about the pricing plans. OLT.com has two pricing tiers. The free tier includes all major forms for filing, but it doesn't come with tech support. The premium edition comes with live chat and phone technical support and a guarantee of audit assistance. This offer and these prices have been consistent for several years. OLT.com Navigation Last year, OLT.com improved its navigation. The software has a kind of a semi-guided form of navigation. It does guide users through relevant income, deduction, credit, and healthcare information, and users can quickly decide whether a section is relevant, and then skip it if it's not. The navigation isn't as robust as many other tools, though. Users have to decide whether a credit, including something like the Earned Income Tax Credit, applies to them. Anyone without deep knowledge of the tax code is likely to miss something. Users who prefer self-guided navigation will appreciate OLT.com's where do I enter button at the top of the software? This helps you to find the information that you entered. The only drawback to OLT.com's navigation is its interest section navigation. When you enter a section, you must complete all screens before moving on. Since OLT.com is not a streamlined software system, yeah, that's annoying <laughs> to have to click so often. Plus, many of the screens are really wordy so you have to read a lot to be sure you're not skipping something important. <sighs> By contrast, better software will ask one or two simple questions to determine whether a user needs to enter more information. Yeah, that makes more sense, doesn't it? <laughs> so, let's talk about the ease of use. Yep, we did find that it's pretty cumbersome to use OLT.com. The software includes excessive amounts of text, and to make matters worse, the text includes a lot of tax jargon. They seem to think that everybody who chooses to use their software is a licensed CPA and has memorized the tax code. Come on, guys. OLT.com is one of the worst when it comes to tax jargon. Even the first few questions are tough to answer. The text-heavy software isn't just hard to decipher, though. The large amounts of text hinder you from filing out your forms quickly. And to make matters even worser, I just made up a word there, OLT.com doesn't allow any imports of any tax forms. Users can easily misenter information. <gasps> Oops, that's one too many zeros. You see, it's crazy. There is one bright point, though, in the software. The built-in calculators. While you have to know some tax jargon to use the calculators, they are very accurate. The asset depreciation calculators used for rental properties and business expenses work as expected. The calculators were more complex than most, but users can feel confident that they got the right answer in the end. OLT.com Knowledge Articles Okay, so each section in OLT.com contains a Useful Information button on the top right side of the screen. 
The button serves up links to the irs.gov website for detailed, overly detailed, I should say, information about relevant topics. It also includes a short section summary. This gives users some information to decide whether the article is relevant to them. Linking to the IRS website, in my opinion, very poor choice for OLT.com. <laughs> it certainly doesn't make tax filing any easier. Like, the IRS is going to be less jargony. I made up another word. Users expect real guidance from filing software. Instead, OLT.com just gives you more complex articles from the IRS. Ugh. OLT.com also has a knowledge base. You'll just have to search to find articles relevant to the required topic, and the software doesn't support serving up relevant articles without a user search. There are some extras to tell you about. If you do upgrade to OLT.com Premium, you'll get audit assistance and live chat tech support. The audit assistant looks like a good value at first. However, Credit Karma Tax offers a similar guarantee for free. Tax Hawk and Free Tax USA also offer similar guarantees for just a few bucks more. Now, it is secure. OLT.com has multi factor authentication, and it is one of the few software companies that require a password change every year. The security of the site seems robust. Can OLT.com help you to file cryptocurrencies? Now, OLT.com asks users about virtual currencies at the start of the process. This year, it has a specific series of questions to help users add their information. Users are still responsible for looking up the basis in U.S. dollars for all their cryptocurrency transactions. And, yes, you can request your stimulus check through OLT.com. If you didn't get a check this year or maybe you think you were underpaid, OLT.com ensures that you have the opportunity to claim a rebate recovery credit for the stimulus check. Questions related to the stimulus money are found at the end of the software. So users need to wade through a lot before entering their information. How does it stack up to the competition? OLT.com is a bargain software. As if you haven't noticed throughout this whole review, we don't really like it. Um, <laughs> our comparisons are based on other similar software with similar pricing structures. While most of the competitors are more expensive than OLT.com, they do offer superior functionality. In 2021, we're comparing OLT.com to TaxHawk, TaxSlayer, and Credit Karma Tax. You can see the nice graph with all of the different pricing structure at thecollegeinvestor.com in this review. OLT.com does have one of the lowest prices for taxpayers in every situation. Only Credit Karma Tax beats OLT.com. In spite of the low prices, we still do not recommend OLT.com. Here are some final thoughts. Despite the low price, it does not offer a compelling reason to use OLT.com software in 2021. Users who want better software at a similar price should consider Tax Hawk rather than OLT.com. Or Credit Karma Tax offers free filing and a better user interface. Users who qualify should also consider the free services from H&R Block or TurboTax. One more time with feeling. Tax filers should avoid OLT.com in 2021. Many software companies offer better experiences at lower prices. Thanks so much for stopping by and looking at OLT.com today with me. If you want to find links and, of course, the big chart that's nice and neat, you can see it at thecollegeinvestor.com. Just search for OLT.com review and you'll find it and a ton of other tax software reviews. Some of the ones that we mentioned today, you can see the in-depth reviews for them for 2021 as well. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again very soon.